All right, guys, GoodOldBoy32 here. Check it out. So this is the box opening and review. This is part one of a two-part series that we're going to be doing on the primary arms. This is their Platinum 6 to 30 by 56 first focal plane scope with the Athena BPR reticle. And let me tell you what an honor it is to be able to uh, take this scope and put it on a rifle, take it out to a 1,000 yards, put the clicks in a, in, into it, and wham. Now, the cool thing is, is that based on budget, this is probably one of the best bangs for the buck when it comes to higher end glass, because I'm going to tell you something, this thing is, is well built and built almost to the same specifications as, as scopes like the Night Force, as well as the Vortex Razor HD. I know that may upset a lot of people, but if you do your research, you're going to find out that this guy is, uh, well, let's say a, a cousin. <laughs> in any case, let's just talk about this. Now, the uh, the what we're going to do is the range testing. We're going to go ahead and put the board up. We're going to do a uh, turret tracking test. We're going to do a bunch of other cool things while we're out at the range. But for right now, let's just go ahead and go over to the details of what this guy entails. And guys, uh, I'm just, I won't beat around the bush. This is $1,499. But uh, on occasion, you're going to find that there are some sales out there, as well as when you do buy this thing, you can get a discounted... Uh, reticle, uh, not a reticle, but a scope mount. All right, let's talk about this. Precision Japanese built with superior craftsmanship, Athena Ballistic Precision Reticle. Uh, features mill ranging and holdovers, precision shooting, and any caliber, with any caliber. First focal plane design allows you to fast, accurate ranging at any distance. Resettable, adjustable knobs with elevation return to zero. Zero stop. It's very important. And, and I'll tell you one of the things. Check this out. We're going to go. When I first got into... Um, Long range shooting was with the 6.5 Creedmoor. I wanted to put something that I thought was uh, a really good scope on top of it. So I decided to go with this thing. This is the Vortex Viper PST. This is their 5 to 25 by 50 in the first focal plane scope shooting with the uh, EBR2 reticle, which is a great reticle. I didn't realize, though, when I started out that uh, I was going to switch over to Mills because I was like, nope, I'm, a, I'm an MOA guy. But in any case, uh, this, this is a great scope. But I will tell you this, this is a better scope. Uh, <laughs> and uh, there's a reason for that. Um, it also has night vision illumination reticle. So uh, there's a lot, a lot of cool things in here. Let's go ahead and open up the box and see what we have in, in here. And what we'll do also is I will talk to you about the Athena reticle. Now, the beauty behind this is you've got plat you've got primary arms. Uh, this it, scope is being manufactured in Japan in one of the best lighting or let's just say scope manufacturing facilities that there is uh, as well as being teamed up with an incredible reticle the Athena the MOA version of this is called the Hera and I did have the opportunity to shoot that guy while we were out in Vegas took the, uh, the scope put it on the uh, masterpiece arm and we were ringing steel out of the mile without any issues all right, let's go ahead and open this guy up. First of all, you're going to get a, an instruction manual just like this. And this is going to show you all the cool things, the Athena reticle. We're going to be looking at all the different options on the scope and what it entails. That's what we'll do now. Uh, it'll also go over to battery placement, uh, resetting, and doing a zero stop on the turrets. There's your Athena reticle, which, by the way, has a total of 20 mils of adjustment within the reticle. The uh, turrets themselves have 27.1 mils of vertical radical, uh, vertical radical, ver vertical adjustment. Uh, also, you've got the uh, sizing bracket right here, arranging brackets, just typical as the ACSS reticles that can be used out to 400 yards. Uh, short and sweet to the point, the, the reticle itself uh, is one of the things that I absolutely love on this thing. And we'll talk about that in detail here in two seconds. All right, so we we'll go ahead and open this thing up. You're going to see that it comes nicely wrapped in this cool box. I mean, this is really nice. It does come with a hood. Let's go ahead and take that out. Nice. It does come with the accessory. Uh, we've got a new battery as well as a Allen wrench to go ahead and help with resetting the turrets. And then the scope itself comes nicely wrapped in this piece of plastic. Now, this is more or less a re, re unboxing because I've already <laughs> unboxed it. As a matter of fact, I've taken this guy out and shot with it. But I wanted to uh, reenact 
the opening of the scope. So there it is in all its glory. And it is a beastie. It is robust. And guys, that's what you want in a good high production scope. Let's go ahead and put this box away. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and take it from the rear all the way to the front. And first thing I want to do is I want to show you this is the Vortex. This is a 5 to 25. And I'm going to tell you something. The PST is no slouch. But as you can see in a size comparison between the two, this guy is a lot bigger but doesn't give you the power that this guy has. So moving, <laughs> talking about the rear ocular, it's a very nice adjustment right here. You can bring that reticle into focus. The knurling on the ocular ring matches all the way around. It adds to the aestheticness. That is aestheticness. Also, this has got a rubber ring around it so that you're, if you get any eye impacts, most of the people who are shooting this guy right here are not going to experience that kind of thing. But, uh, just in case, we'll go ahead and bring it back all the way down. It is marked with the Athena Ballistic Precision Reticle. This is a Mills. They do offer the other scope in, a, in the ACSS reticle as well as the Hera. There's a couple other ones out there that I'm not sure of. The beauty behind this scope is not only is it well made, but you've got some of the best reticles available on the market that are proven. 34 millimeter ring all the way around. You've got a zoom ring that runs you from six to 30. This is a first focal plane, which means that reticle is going to be the same relation to the target no matter what distance you are out at on the zoom ring. On the left side, we've got the windage knob right here. You've got 13.1 mils of movement in the windage knob. And the nice thing also is in the elevation knob, you've got 27 mils of movement just in the elevation knob itself. One of the cool things is you can bring this thing back down. You can zero it out. We'll do that here in a second. Over here, we've got the uh, parallax ring adjustment. It goes from 35 out to infinity. This does have a CR2032 batteries, which has a lot of life. I can tell you that right now because I've left it out and uh, open and on. And uh, it's just, after a, two, a week or so, it is still rolling. And then in between each one of the adjustments from one to 11, you have an off position, which is really nice. I'm not gonna open that up because I like to limit the, how much I open that thing up. Again, 34 millimeter two, 56 millimeter objective. We do have the included sunscreen or sunshade here. I do use these extensively and quite a bit. Uh, simply because I, I, in my range, my long range, I'm shooting pretty much at a 45 degree angle. The sun goes down just like this, and this does a great job from keeping that thing from having to or presenting any kind of glare. Multi coated lenses, uh, the turret adjustments are 0 0.10 mils. You can see right here, there's one mil, there's two mil, there's three mils, there's four mils, there's five mils, there's six mils. Don't need an up button or an up direction because you're only going to go one way. There's a zero stop, which is absolutely awesome on this thing. Let's go ahead while we're here. Let's discuss that zero stop. And I know we're going all over the place, but you know what? This this is an amazing experience for me. Uh, it, it is an absolute awesome scope, and it, and it is competitive with the Razer HD and the Night Forces and the other guys. Uh, it is a beast. And I know that uh, Dimitri's got a lot of these things overseas right now being tested from the guys in Afghanistan. And it'll be interesting to see how they come out with it. So to adjust the zero stop, we're just going to go in here. There's three opposing screws that are bringing it in, in and tightening it up to a center post. And if you guys notice any similarities when we open this thing up, let me know. We're getting a little loose. There we go. This is the guy that is. That's the culprit right there. There we go. We'll go ahead and bring it up. Perfect. There's our center ring. And here's a turn disc right here. And what happens is, is it has a lug on the bottom of it that runs into this guy right here. And all you got to do now that we're, we're zeroed in, don't turn that thing like I just did. But this is the ease of set resetting your turrets with the zero stop. And let me show you. There's the opposing lug right here. So what happens is you're just going to bring that down and run it into that lug right there, the opposing lug. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and build in some negative travel. I tend to just want it to stop when it's supposed to stop. So we'll go ahead and bring it on like that. We'll tighten these things up. 
that's a brass center point. Bring this in. We will set the turret to zero right there. And then I will tighten my turrets up. And that is all you have to do in order to reset your turrets. Very nice, very simple, very easy. This thing is absolutely concrete. And the cool thing is when you got that zero stop in, you're in between your stages or when you're transitioning or going anywhere or deer hunting or whatever, all you gotta do after you make your adjustments is bring it in. Awesome. Wind shades on there. Everything's looking good. Let's go over some of the details and specifics of this thing. Uh, exit eye pupil is 8.20 millimeter. Uh, high is 1.9. Eye relief is 4 inches. The field of view at 100 feet is 16.6 feet. At the high is 3.3 feet. It is a first focal plane scope. The reticle is illuminated. Maximum magnification is 30. Minimum is 6. It is night vision capable. The objective diameter is 56. The reticle is the Athena. Total elevation of adjustment is 27.6 mils. Total windage is 13.1. Diameter of the tube is 34 millimeter. Exposed turrets, absolutely amazing. Weight of this beast is 38.2 ounces. So guys, that's it for the box opening and the details. We'll talk about the reticle in the upcoming videos. But I'm gonna tell you something, having taken this thing out and actually used it on multiple occasions, I am absolutely in love it. I used to be a big Vortex fan, but this guy, I am even bigger fan. Now there's information that will lead you over to the uh, primary arms website at kb32tac.com. I'll put a section at the top of the, U or <laughs> the YouTube channel, the uh, website. I'm not used to that thing yet. And that way you can take it over there. If you're interested in this thing, it is $1,499. That's a lot of money, but I'm gonna tell you something. If you're getting into precision shooting, this thing brings a lot to the table. I know that there are some ser serious uh, reviewers out there, Rex, Tarvosaurus Rex did a full-blown review on this thing, plus a long testing. And I'm not sure if he was instrumental in the design of the reticle, but I know he gave his input. So anyway, next time we're going to do talk about the reticle, the Athena, and we may go ahead and talk about the Hera and the ACSS a little bit. But that's being said, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. So freedom comes in Mildot and the Athena reticle at a thousand yards. There you go. Cut of War 32. I'm out.